dear friends today we are going to discuss about the types of the nozzles in the last few lectures we already discussed about the different things related to the injector and the injector system we already discussed about the automatic injector system itself which is one of the very useful kind of a injector in different automobiles engine so today we are going to discuss about the types of the nozzles so before going to understand the different types of the nozzles we must have to understood first what do you mean by the nozzle itself so nozzle is one of the very important part of an injector system through which the liquid fuel is spread into the combustion chamber so now we have the knowledge of the injector and the complete injector system so if you concentrate on every injector at the mouth of the injector there is a one specific shape and that particular specific shape which is having decreasing in the cross section area and there is one tip through which the amount of liquid fuel will come out and it will spread inside the engine cylinder that is nothing but called as a nozzle so a good nozzle should fulfill the following functions so if we want to select a good nozzle or if we want to make a nozzle it should fulfill the following objectives or the functions so what are those functions here we are going to discuss the first very important function of every nozzle of the injector is a atomization so atomization is a very important function since it is the first phase in obtaining proper mixing of fuel and air in the combustion chamber the second one that is the distribution of fuel distribution of fuel to required area within the combustion chamber is another very important function of the nozzle the third one that is prevention of impingement on walls so what is the meaning of prevention of impingement on walls that is the prevention of fuel from impinging directly on the walls of a combustion chamber or the piston this is necessary because fuel striking the wall decomposes and produces carbon deposits so this causes smoky exhaust as well as increase in the fuel consumption so this is very important function of each and every nozzle of the injector system the fourth function is mixing the fuel and air so mixing the fuel and air in case of non turbulent type of combustion chamber should be taken care by the nozzle itself so these all are the important functions of a good nozzle and every nozzle should fulfill this particular function itself so after this one now we are going to discuss about the different types of the nozzle so here we have the four basic types of the nozzle one is a single hole nozzle another one that is a pintail nozzle the third one is multi hole nozzle and fourth one is pintox nozzle so every nozzle has some speciality and because of its speciality it named as that particular nozzle so in the case of this first single hole nozzle if you observe over here here is the injector nozzle suppose this is a complete assembly of the injector and here is the body of the injector and this is the particular injector system so at the mouth of the nozzle this nozzle has 
uh, one single hole we can say suppose here is the injector and at the mouth of this particular injector there is one specific nozzle is attached which has a single hole through which the amount of fuel will come out and spread inside the engine cylinder so it is called a single hole because its nozzle consisting a single hole at its mouth or at the tip of the nozzle itself that's why it is called a single hole nozzle when we talk about the multi hole nozzle again the similar construction will be there injector body is there then the main injector then this is the fuel passage through which the amount of fuel is inserted in this section but the speciality of this kind of injector it consisting more than one hole at the mouth of the nozzle we can say it may be more than 4 or 8 so in this case the number of holes are drilled and through which the amount of fuel will spray inside the engine cylinder in this case if you observe this one the spray pattern is different in this case and here the spray pattern or the amount of fuel which will spread inside the engine cylinder this area is again more as compared to single hole so if you see in the pintle nozzle see some modification made in the single hole nozzle itself so what is that modification if you see over here a circular pintle is attached to minimize the dribbling effect dribbling is nothing but a kind of a leakage will happen inside the engine cylinder through the nozzle itself so after operation of the injector even though the some amount of fuel droplets come inside the engine cylinder so that is nothing but called as a dribbling effect so to avoid the dribbling effect at the mouth of the nozzle there is a small ball kind of element is fitted and that is called the pintle so this nozzle is called the pintle nozzle to avoid the dribbling effect again there is a some modification in the pintle nozzle uh, for some advantages and that modification is nothing but called as a pintox nozzle if you see or if you compare this both the diagram there is some additional things which is a present there is additional auxiliary hole which is drilled at the mouth of the nozzle suppose suppose here is the body of the injector and here is that particular fuel passage so sometime what happen the fuel will come through the fuel passage with some pressure and because of the pressurized the fuel this particular injector body and the wall stem will get lift up against the spring force as we discussed in the automatic injector but sometime what happen that amount of pressure is not sufficient to lift up that wall properly that time this auxiliary hole will work and that will supply the extra amount of fuel inside the main mouth of the nozzle itself so this is the work of the pintox nozzle which is some modification made in the pintle nozzle so these all are the different types of the nozzle so with the help of the notes part we can discuss these things thoroughly how to draw the diagrams here we can understand so as we just discussed this is about the different types of nozzle and this is the first one single hole nozzle and we just cut it down the single hole nozzle from the middle of it and this is the cut section of the single hole nozzle if you see over here here is a single hole which is drilled so this is the fuel passage from the fuel passage fuel passage is nothing but a line or the hole or there is a some thing drilled inside the main body of the injector through which the amount of fuel inserted and this wall stem will get lifted up against the spring force and the fuel will spray inside the engine cylinder through a single hole so if you see here is the particular nozzle and this is the mouth of the injector at the mouth of the injector the nozzle is fitted 
and it has or it consisting a single hole and through the single hole the amount of fuel spray come out inside the engine cylinder that's why it is called a single hole nozzle so if we see the theory of this particular single hole nozzle this is the simplest type of nozzle it consists of a single hole bored centrally through the nozzle body and closed by the needle wall the spray cone angle of this nozzle varies from 5 degree to 15 degree in some cases the cone is given in a series of spiral grooves in order to impart the rotational motion to the fuel for bettering with the air the hole of the nozzle can be made of very small diameter if you observe that diameter is very much small that is near about 0.02 and upward that is in mm itself so it's very very small diameter hole drilled at the nozzle so this is something about this particular single hole nozzle so when we talk about the multi hole the same diagram is again present over here the fuel passage the fuel hole drilled in the injector body and through which the amount of fuel comes over here but it is or it consisting the number of holes which are present over here that's why it is called the multi hole nozzle other construction is very much same as per the single hole only number of holes are more in this case so what is the speciality of this particular nozzle this nozzle is extensively used in automobile engines and particularly with open combustion chamber it consists of number of holes bored in the tip of the nozzle the number of holes generally used 4 to 8 the greater number provide better fuel distribution the hole diameter which will lies between 0.25 to 0.35 mm and the cone angle lies between 20 degree to 45 degree so the cone angle means what as the fuel spray will be there the spray of the fuel will come out it has some conical spray angle so that's why that angle is there and it is different for single hole and multi hole so again as we discuss about pintel nozzle as i told you earlier there is a kind of a pintel which is present over here a circular ball or a body which protrudes in the mouth of the nozzle itself which is present over here this is for to avoid the dribbling effect of the injector system so because of this particular ball there would be a uh, chances to reduce the dribbling effect so this is again very important so this is again very important thing in the case of pintel nozzle or we can say this is the modification of a kind of nozzle multi hole so again after this one the last which we discussed that is the pintox nozzle before that here we are going to discuss the pintel nozzle speciality so as we discussed the pintel nozzle which i shown in the figure in order to avoid the weak injection and the dribbling is provided with a projection called pintel which come out through a mouth of the nozzle body it may be either cylindrical or conical in shape when the wall slips the pintel partially blocks the orifice and does not allow the pressure drop to be greater as the lift of the wall increases then the orifice is uncovered and full area for flow is available and dribbling can be avoided in this case the cone angle is varied from 0 degree to 60 degree pintel nozzle results in good atomization and penetration so this is the last one that is pintox nozzle so as we just discussed the diagram of pintox nozzle this is uh, just like this one this is the diagram of uh, this particular pintox nozzle itself there is the auxiliary hole which has been drilled over here so the something about the pintox nozzle this is the development of pintel nozzle and has an auxiliary hole drilled in the nozzle body this allows a small amount of fuel injection in upstream direction at the time slightly in advance of the mainstream injection itself so 
at low speed the needle wall does not lift resulting in a good cold starting performance and most of the time the fuel is injected through the auxiliary hole itself so it has a better cold starting performance and drawback is its injection characteristics is poorer than multi hole nozzle so this is uh, something about the different types of nozzle itself so with the help of this uh, injection rate characteristics we can discuss uh, the different things about the nozzle so this is uh, for the pintle nozzle injection rate characteristics on the y axis here we have the rate of injection on the x axis we have the crank angle rotation in degrees so after experimentation here we can get the pintle nozzle diagram about the injection rate characteristics we got the curve like this uh, what it indicates as the crank angle increases the rate of injection also increases but after one limit as uh, the crank in rotates again the rate of injection will decreases this is for the pintle nozzle similarly for pintux nozzle here we got the curve like this like the sinusoidal curve here we got for the pintux nozzle itself and similarly this is for the multi hole nozzle the multi hole nozzles injection rate characteristics curve like this one so as we just discussed the injection rate characteristics of the pintux nozzle is poorer than the multi hole so these all things are essential to understand the different types of uh, the nozzle itself so i hope you understood uh, in well manner the different types of nozzle so thank you so much for watching this video